Fedmar and Jolai. Once upon a time, in a distant land, there was a talented young man who was wealthy and incredibly handsome named Fedmar. Fedmar, are you really going to climb the frozen mountain? Yes, mother. I've heard so much about Princess Titi, the beautiful princess who lives on that mountain, and this time I will propose to her. Oh, my dear, why put yourself through this? There are plenty of beautiful girls here who would love to marry you. Just pick another. Why travel to such a dangerous place? None of them are to my liking, mother. Please, let me follow my heart. But the path to go there is treacherous. I've heard many who went up the mountain never returned, or were turned into ice statues. I can't bear the thought of losing you. Don't worry, mother. Those who failed just didn't have enough courage. I'm your son. I believe I will succeed and bring back a beautiful bride for you. But I... I've made up my mind. Please don't try to stop me. I'll leave early tomorrow. You should rest. Kill him! Kill him! Sounds like something's happening up ahead. I need to check it out. What's going on here? What happened to that man? He's a deserter from the army, so he's being sentenced to hanging. Really? But why does he pass out like that? Yes, he has. He's incredibly strong. I heard it took a hundred men to capture him, so they drugged him to carry out the execution. I see. A man with such talent. What a waste for him to die. Wait! This man! Why does he look exactly like me? Hold on! Sir, can I pay to ransom this man's life? Well now, you two look like twins. Are you brothers? You could say that, but you haven't answered my question yet. Eh, uh, ransom him? Fine, but it'll cost you a hefty sum. Name your price, as long as he's freed. It's the king's law, not mine. He joined the army for 50 gold coins, but now wants to desert. To buy his freedom, you'll have to repay the 50 coins. That won't be a problem. Here is 100 gold coins, 50 for the king and 50 for you. Now, release the man. Wow, you're a generous man. No reason to keep him any longer. You're free now. Your brother here just paid 100 gold coins to save you. You're one lucky man. But I... my brother? It's done. Everyone, clear out. Careful. You're still drugged. It's you who saved me. Oh. Why do we look so much alike? Believe me, I'm just as shocked as you are. We look exactly like each other. Perhaps it's fate. What's your name? Jolie. Those cowards. They drugged me. They knew they couldn't beat me. If it weren't for that... It's over now, Jolie. No one will chase you anymore. Would you like to be my friend? My name is Fedma. Fate brought us together, so why not? Besides, you saved my life. Given how much we look alike, we should become sworn brothers. Perfect, brother. Brother, together, forever. Brother, together, forever. And so, the two men who looked exactly alike became sworn brothers and set off together for the frozen mountain. With Jolie's help, they soon reached the base of the mountain. Is this the frozen mountain? Why, there's so many stone statues of men here. Could they be? 
The suitors came to win the princess, who failed and turned to stone? I've heard of this place, but I've never seen it myself. But now, what a sight. I also heard there's a fierce giant guarding the entrance. Then leave him to me. Fighting's what I do best. Wait, don't rush in. The fact that we look alike could be useful. You hide for now, and I'll go ahead and see what's happening. Then we can act accordingly. All right, if things go south, I'll be ready outside. Good. Hmm. What we have here? Another fool come to meet his doom? You're the one guarding this place. Don't think I'll be that easy. <laughs> huh. Bold words I see. However, I'm not fond of fighting. If you're here to propose to the princess, let's play a little game instead. What kind of game? If you can overcome my challenge, I will hand Princess Tidi over to you. Otherwise, you must offer me all your blood and turn to stone, just like those who failed before you. What kind of challenge is this? Tell me. The princess. She's breathtaking. I've never seen anyone so beautiful. Are you listening to me? Stop staring and focus. Oh yes, I'm listening. Continue. The challenge is very simple. Do you see? The 24 candles lit around the coffin, where Princess Tidy lies sleeping. All you need to do is blow out all 24 candles at once with a single breath, and you will win. That's it. Just that. Do you dare to try? Remember, even if one candle stays lit, you will lose your life and become a stone statue. Uh, of course, I'll try. But I'll need a moment to eat something, to regain my strength. <laughs> Fine. I'll wait inside. <laughs> I have a feeling that this is all a trick. If I try it myself, I'm certain I'll fail. Don't worry about it, my friend. I've got incredible strength. Blowing out 24 candles at once. That's a piece of cake. Leave it to me. Are you sure? I don't want you risking your life because of me. Do you know who you're talking to? This is nothing to me. Come on, let's switch clothes and I will go. Be careful, I'll be right here if you need help. Now blow out the candles, my friend. Let's see how strong you really are. You better keep your word. If I succeed, you must give me the princess. Of course. I just doubt that you'll survive to claim her yourself. <laughs> All the candles are out. I've won. You? You're not human. How could you? Surprised? It doesn't matter. You've lost. Hand over the princess. Don't worry. A deal's a deal. I'm a man of my word. Go wait outside and I'll wake the princess and bring her to you. All right. Is it true? You succeeded? We've won the princess? Of course. Take the princess home. I've repaid my debt to you. Wishing you both happiness. Thank you. But isn't it better to come with us? Why do you sound like this is a goodbye? It's better if I don't appear in front of the princess let her believe you're the one who passed the giant's challenge. Go and take her home. You're so thoughtful. Thank you again. But I still want you to join us. At least attend my wedding with the princess. After all, we're brothers. Don't worry, I'll still travel with you both, ju but just from the shadows. Now, let's switch our clothes back. The princess will be here any moment. Ah, yes, right. I almost forgot about it. <laughs> Go on, take your bride, the princess, home. Thank you once again, brother. T. 
cheating. You are so beautiful. Will you marry me? Of course. You're the one who passed the challenge, after all. Take your princess and leave this place. Stop! What's wrong? Why do you want to stop all of a sudden? I... I'm feeling tired. Can we... can we rest for a moment? I'm sorry. We've traveled half the day already. You must be tired. Let's stop and rest for a while. Yes, my lord. You must be hungry by now. Here, have some cake. I made it myself for us to enjoy on the journey. Princess, you're so thoughtful, and you can bake too. It's just a small thing, compared to you traveling a thousand miles here. Conquer the difficult challenge of the evil giant and get me out of that cave. Mine is nothing. I am forever grateful to you. There's no need to talk about gratitude between us. Now, let me taste your delicious cake. This cake! <laughs> How foolish! You are done for! <laughs> you thought you could take Princess Tidy. Think again. Stop right there. So, you're not the princess trying to poison my brother, huh? Impressive. Who, who are you? Who I am doesn't matter. What matters is, I've been following you and Fedma secretly, and I've seen everything. That giant is quite the schemer! Hmm. So what if you know? What can you do about it? Huh? You won't get away. If you know what's good for you, cooperate. Please, please spare me. I'll do whatever you want. Is this the giant tree you mentioned? Yes, this is it. The giant was originally a demon. He trapped the princess in order to, to lure young and powerful men there, then drained their blood to gain power. All his power is stored in a bottle buried under the roots of this tree. If you destroy it, he'll be easy to defeat. And what about the bottle you used earlier to drain Fedma's life? Where is it? No, that bottle was just a decoy. The giant gave it to me to siphon Fedma's strength. Once it's full, it transfers the power to the main bottle under this tree. So, if I destroy that bottle, the people turned to stone will come back to life, right? Only those who were turned within the last day. The rest will only revive if the giant is defeated. If you're lying, even by a single word, I'll and you on the spot. I wouldn't dare lie. My life is entirely in your hands. Here's the bottle containing the giant's power. Oh my! I'm alive! What happened? Thank goodness, Fedma. You've been revived. Hmm. How frustrating. That giant tricked us. Thank goodness you were watching out for me. Otherwise, I'd be done for. Let's not dwell on that. The important thing now is defeating the giant. You know how to open the cave, right? Lead the way. Yes, sir. Ha! Huh. Are there intruders in my cave? How dare they? Where's the giant? Why isn't he here? Did you trick us? No, I swear with my life, I didn't. 
He's usually asleep at this hour. I have no idea where he could be. <laughs> so, turns out there were two of you. Two little mice sneaking into my lair, huh? And you, useless, you failed me and now dare to betray me by bringing these fools here. Please, Master, spare me. I had no choice. I... Hmm. Save your breath. Today's the day of your demise, giant. We'll see about that. Let's see what you're made of. Hmm. You're quick. But can you handle my strength? What's this? Where is my strength? My power. Where has it gone? <laughs> Surprised? By power, do you mean the bottle hidden beneath the great tree on the mountain? I've already destroyed it. You're powerless now. Hmm. Now it's our turn. Get ready to say goodbye. What? My power has been destroyed. Nu. No. No. Princess TD, is that you? Who? Who are you? I've come to rescue you. The giant has been defeated, and you are free, Princess. Is it? Is it true? You really killed him? Yes, it's true. You don't need to be afraid anymore. From now on, I'll protect you. You're so brave. I'll never forget this great act of kindness. We must hurry. This cave is collapsing. We need to get out as quickly as possible. Let's go! Oh, we've been saved! We've come back to life! The giant was finally defeated and the young men he had turned to stone were revived, grateful for Fedma's heroism. She agreed to marry them. For Jolie, after bidding farewell to the couple, he continued to explore the world.